Hey everyone, Kiki Ken here with Canon Studios and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be changing the FEP film on my Illigu Saturn and these steps are pretty much the same for all Illigus and pretty similar to most resin printers across the board. So there might be some tips in here that might help you, so please feel free to stick around and I hope this helps you if you own an Illigu to replace your FEP film. So I've had this felt film on my Illigu for a while and as you can see there's just different dimples and scratches and it's kind of dinged up and it's time to be replaced. So first I'm going to take all of the screws out and I'm going to be starting with the four corners. And then I'm going to create a separate pile for all of the rest of these screws. Now after all these screws are removed, I'll be able to take out the felt film off of the tray and I'm just going to set this piece to the side for now and return to it later. So now we're just removing the last set of screws that are holding the brackets together with the felt film. And I'm just going to remove all of these the same way and set it in a separate pile as well. Now that all the screws are removed from the holding brackets, I can remove the old FEP film and it can just be thrown away. So I like to keep a spray bottle of alcohol to use just to clean. So I'm just spraying this to wipe down the brackets to remove any type of residue. And I am wearing a respirator mask because I'm using alcohol. So depending on your cleaning agent, please wear the proper equipment for safety. I'm making sure to wipe down the tray as well, getting it very clean on both sides. And once everything is the right amount of cleanliness, now it's gonna be time to assemble. So this is where we're gonna use our foam piece. I just cut mine um, with the correct dimensions, which the dimensions I was given was 80 by 80 by five millimeters. And the felt film just peels off and be sure to be wearing gloves through this whole process. Um, and the goal is not really to touch the film too much on the center part where it's going to be printed. So try to get it as even as possible in the sandwiching. Um, using a grid is helpful. It doesn't have to be um, perfect because we're just going to cut any excess after we're done on the edges, so don't worry if it's not perfect. And I like to start doing the corners first, and I don't immediately tighten it as tight as it can go. I kind of go back and forth to the tightness, much like a tire, and then I'm going to be working on opposite sides going around. So now that I have all the screws in tight, I'm just going around and double checking and making sure they're as tight as they can go because we need it to be as tight as possible since it will be sealing the resin and I don't want any leaks. So I'm just gonna cut the excess off with my utility knife here and it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm just getting any excess off so that it's out of the way for when we put it back into the tray. I'm going to be grabbing my tray and just setting it in there and I made sure to just leave it sitting on the foam until I was able to put it back on the tray. And I'm going to be doing this the same way where I'm going to be putting them in the four corners first, not completely tightened but pretty tight and then go back and tighten them completely and then I go around a third time and I double check and make sure the tightness is completely as taut as possible. 
So you'll know if it's tight enough because the film will be loose and you don't really want that. You want it to be more taut, um, sort of like a drum. So you're gonna be able to kind of tell if it's you know tight enough because it will kind of press into the tray and then become very tight. And sometimes the screws are hard to get in through the felt film. So I just kind of puncture it with my screwdriver hex tool um, to make it easier to then just screw in the pieces much easier. And then last, I'm putting in the four fastening screws in the four corners. And I'm just going back and forth between them the same like a tire and that's it. You're now completed and the felt film looks good and I'm just going to blow air to get any little debris or dust particles. I have this nice rechargeable air blower it works, works great. I appreciate everybody sticking around and watching the whole video. If you have any other suggestions for any resin oriented videos, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I hope this helped you. Thanks guys.